Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to today's episode of How You're Getting Aft. I'm your host, Lewis Rossman. And today we're going to be discussing something that I thought would probably come up later in my life, if ever, from an Eminem song back from the 1989 album, the Slim Shady LP. This is one line in Bad Meets Evil where Eminem says, Go to hell and I'm getting ready to leave. I'm gonna put air in a bag and charge people to breathe. It seems like... Well, we're here. So let's take a look at this company's terms of service and what they're sending out to people. This was received by a customer of the Molecule Air Purifier. Dear Molecule customer, we need to bring to your immediate attention that your Molecule Air Purifier is using a knockoff third-party filter containing misappropriated serial numbers and authentication data and the technology knockoff filter. Specifically, your knockoff filter contains misappropriated near-field communication keys, unique identifiers, security, and slash or tag authentication data, which is expressly prohibited under Molecule's terms and conditions for services. No later than Monday, September 20th, 2nd, 2025, any Molecule Air Purifier containing knockoff filters will be denied access to Molecule services, including access to the Molecule app. To continue with or restore access to Molecule services, you will need to replace the knockoff filter in your Molecule Air Purifier. Molecule Genuine Replacement Filters, by the way, notice how knockoff filter has capital letters on each letter, but Genuine Replacement is lowercase. I don't know if that's just some sort of protest that was being done by the employee who was writing this, but if that's what that was, cool, you got thumbs up from me. Molecule general replacement filters are available at the Molecule online store replacement filters. Only genuine Molecule filters are tested and validated for use in conjunction with Molecule air purifiers to achieve high indoor air quality performance. If you want your Molecule air purifier to achieve the IAQ for which it is designed, then it's highly recommended that you replace the knockoff filter with a genuine Molecule filter at your earliest opportunity. For more information on Molecule's PECO and filter technology, please visit us at... So one of the problems that I had with this is not even the price of the air filters. It's just when I go over to their filters page to buy replacement parts... They don't make it easy. Select your purifier. Let's say I have the Air Pro. I, I click it. It doesn't do anything. Air Pro. And it takes me here. Okay. It brought me to the filter. Add to cart. Where's the price? <laughs> this website is killing me. Oh, I can see it once I get in the cart. And this, is that the filter or is that the, it? it's an air purifier filter. Okay. So it's $180. $175 for the air purifier filter by itself. Air Pro Pico HEPA Tri Power Filter. Now, if I were to go to Amazon, I'm not going to pretend that anything on the site is good quality, but you could see that you can get something that's about one fourth the price, actually less than one fourth the price. So there's obviously going to be a demand for people to be buying an aftermarket for this. And the thing is, this is something that was went over a very long time ago. There's this case called Lexmark versus Static Control. Static Control was making ink cartridges that were aftermarket that worked in Lexmark printers, even though Lexmark didn't seem very happy that people were making ink cartridges that work with their printers. The ink cartridge would pretend that it was a Lexmark cartridge to the printer, bypassing a lot of the authentication stuff. I am not a programmer or a hardware or firmware engineer, so feel free to look that up from people that know more than me. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert in it. The point is the court recognized that Static Control has the right to sell those ink cartridges. Lexmark can't just come in and say you're not allowed to sell aftermarket ink cartridges for our stuff. Here, they're not saying that you're not allowed to use these air filters. It's just if you actually want to use the features that your product was advertised as being able to use, you're not allowed to do that if you use other people's air filters. Not because those air filters are not going to allow your filter to work, but just because fuck you, because you're doing something we don't want. And it's not as bad as what Lexmark was trying to do. They were just trying to shut that company down altogether, but it's going down that same path. And that's not something that I like very much. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that an air filter company should be able to disable features and functionality in the product you already bought and paid for because you're using somebody else's brand of sheet of carbon inside of it? Or do you think that this is um, bullshit? Would you buy a Molecule air filter? How does this affect your opinion of the company? How does this affect your desire to give them money or recommend them to your friends? If you see your friend about to check out on a website with a Molecule air for purifier, what would you do differently as a result of having this knowledge? This is what ConsumerRights.Wiki is for. ConsumerRights.Wiki is a centralized repository of every single instance of a company doing this type of anti-ownership thing, where they sell you an air filter, but hidden in terms of service, well, you have to pay $174 for replacement parts. And if you don't, eh, you're not going to be able to use all the features and functionality of the product because we demand that you only use it with our sheets of carbon. I hope that this changes people's purchasing decisions. And I hope that you all continue to contribute to ConsumerRights.Wiki to ensure that we have the best 
database of all these types of anti-consumer practices. Also, just an announcement, we're gonna be doing a meetup of the Clippies in Austin on 114 Linden Street at Luster Pearl East every Friday at 7.30. So if you're somebody who's tired of the constant erosion of consumer rights and you wanna to speak to other people who are likely-minded, you're welcome to come by. If you wanna speak, great. If you don't wanna speak and you just wanna to listen to other people because you're shy, well, you can do that too. No problem. We welcome anybody and everybody who would like to show up. And I'm gonna be doing this once a week, 7.30 p.m., Luster Pearl East, 114 Linden Street in Austin. It's, uh, you know, it, it was really a lot of fun meeting all of you, every single one of you who showed up to that city hall process. And I was inspired by the way that you walked in with prepared comments and made your points heard. It was a lot of fun. But what if we took the time to talk about these issues before something like that happens and be able to organize more in person? Tonight's going to be the next one at 730. That's it for today. And as always, I hope we learned something. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now. We also have the duty not to infringe the IP rights in the process. It is in fact the manufacturers who have the relevant rights, not consumers.